My name is Catherine Martinez and I am a student here at UNM Tufts. So I am a returning student, but I would love to earn a degree in business management and I'm trying to figure out something with anthropology studies as well. But a future goal that is a, a bit of a passion for me would be to create a small business in at the Pueblo or in the town of Taos, specifically a museum and maybe bring some artifacts that are, you know, housed around the country and bring them home to Taos Pueblo. In high school, I was not a math person at all. And so upon returning to UNM Taos, I was very scared, very hesitant. But upon, you know, entering my math courses, I have learned that I'm actually really good at math. And I've had some really great professors who have really um, taken me under their wing and have made it so easy and comfortable for me to be able to understand and, um, you know, go further um, with my math journey. And I'm actually a tutor now for TRIO. I've been in TRIO since I started. I was actually influenced by my advisor, Juan Juarez, and I didn't really realize what the program was about when I first, you know, was introduced to it. But, you know, he did mention about the tutoring services, which I knew that I was going to need. So that was something that was very important to me, especially when I returned to school and going into math. So I took up those resources. And then in time, you know, all of these different um, activities and programs came up with TRIO. And so one of like the biggest experience that I've had so far was going to Miami for the first generation conference that they had down there. And I've never been to Miami. And so that was quite a, a really amazing experience. We got to network with different uh, professionals, you know, and different departments and just different backgrounds. And it was just amazing. It was an amazing experience for me. So the first generation means being able to represent myself and my family and those that have were not able to go above, you know, education. A lot of tribal members, even back in the day, you know, weren't able to go to school as far as first grade, second grade. And so for me, being a student here and continuing my education, you know, is, is, a, is, a, is such a privilege. And, and it means so much that I, um, I work hard. You know, I juggle so many things. I, I wear so many hats, I should say. And um, it, d it does mean a great deal for me to continue my education. And um, it is a privilege, like being here at, at um, UNM Taos, I didn't realize what a sweet and amazing academic oasis that we have here. And I wish that I would have known about it before I went to, um, before I started my academic journey long ago. <laughs> I do wear multiple hats. I take care of my grandfather Monday through Friday, and he is elderly. And that, that requires a lot of time planning and patience. And I was able to, you know, return to school and juggle both being a caretaker for my grandfather and doing the classes for UNM Taos and it does it is it is a little bit of a struggle sometimes but I'm actually figuring out how to manage it just quite well I've received A's and B's this semester so I've I've been pretty proud of myself at um, being able to juggle so many hats it does get a little stressful sometimes but UNM Taos has some amazing resources that I have been taking Full advantage of, especially with the tutoring and the writing studio, and that has helped me tremendously. I find myself out um, taking walks, a lot of walks, um, especially at the Pueblo, and I'm pretty much at the Pueblo full-time, so if I do get a chance to get away, I will go take some walks. I like to journal. It's just something that helps to release everything that I, all my frustrations, you know, emotions that I, I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, especially being a caretaker. It does take a lot to take care of somebody and make sure that you are taking care of yourself. Coming from a small town like Taos, I would say if you feel like you're not ready to go out into the big university, take some time to come and explore UNM Taos. Because like I had mentioned, if I would have known that before I started my academic journey, I maybe would have already finished. But that's not even the case at this point because I think I need it to go through the many experiences that I have to reach where I'm at today. And that does include, you know, being able to complete all of my math courses with A's. I've received nothing but A's. So back then, I don't know if I had that confidence, but 
I would say to take a look at UNM Taos first and get your feel into, you know, the real world and the real work that academia requires before you make that transition to a big university. Um, but, you know, if you are ready for that challenge, by all means, nothing should hold you back. But it is amazing that we do have our own little academic oasis here at Taos.